Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is a tech tip brought to you by Sonic Academy. This one's all about Maximus and how it's actually a wave shaper. It's kind of interesting. So if you look at um, Maximus, which for some reason I added first, that means it actually shows up on top of the list. Maximus is a multi-band compressor, and through lots of ways that it does, it does what it does. It um, is pretty good at its job. You have your three splits. You even have our analysis built in. Then you have the input output graph that shows you what's happening, all the time variables, attack and release, and that kind of thing. And even the cool effect of being able to control what's going on directly, as opposed to using threshold and ratio to control the graph, you actually yourself are manually controlling the graph. The graph. The graph. You can even add. You can. You have all the control over this graph as you would any other line graph inside FL Studio. All the options are available to you as they are and all the rest. The thing is, though, if I make these more radical shapes, it actually really isn't doing a lot. And this is because, because of the time variables. They aren't reacting fast enough to kind of adhere to what's happening. But we can make it. And in fact, if we go fast enough, we can see, actually, this is the individual oscillation of the saw wave that I'm playing right now. And what happens when a compressor is reacting so fast that it actually is applying its shape to the individual oscillation of a waveform? Well, that's wave shaping. That's actually exactly what the wave shaper does in FL Studio. And in fact, has the same interface. It has if I were to do this to it, this would be basically the same thing as Maximus, except that it didn't have any uh, time variables. It reacts. I, it reacts immediately. And so, with this in mind, we can we can sort of we can have the same idea that if we actually get rid of all the time variables on all the bands for all of what's happening, we can conclude that now we have a multi-band wave shaper. As it turns out, we totally do. If you remove the time variables on all the bands, Maximus is no longer a compressor. Actually, that's a lie. It is, it is actually still a compressor, and actually so is the wave shaper. The wave shaper is a compressor, and compression is wave shaping. It's just that compressors have time variables, which prevent it, <laughs> in theory, from distorting your sound. Because if the time variables react faster than the oscillation of the waveform, it will shape the waveform, uh, ergo distorting it. So... It's important to kind of keep that in mind, even, even you know, not just so that, you know, oh, that's cool, I can use Maximus as a multiband wave shaper. Any compressor and any distortion unit, for that matter, works with this principle. So you can think, you have to think of them in this, in this way as being not just, not just one or the other, but a, sort of a, a version of both. Which is why, actually, the idea, the idea of saturation um, is usually paired with compressors, because you can do that with compressors. It's kind of interesting in that regard. So... I just wanted to put that bug in your ear so that you can sort of have an interesting perception change on compressors in general, but also just because now you have a multi-band wave shaper, which is always impressive. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.